Hi guys, welcome to Monday. I hope you had an awesome weekend. Uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, get warmed up. We're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 second transition. I want you to start with your cardio, so that could be a row, ski, or bike, or you can snub jump roping or burpees. So those will be your options for the first part. After that, we're gonna go weighted PVC pass-throughs. So for these, I want a nice wide grip on the PVC. We're gonna come up with the arm straight, shrug over the head, and then come to the back and just keep repeating that. If you don't have a PVC at home, what you can do is most of you have either a band or a jump rope. For the jump rope, just kind of fold it in half here and then you can do the same thing uh, with the jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, then you can just do some reverse shoulder circles. Next we're gonna do is some walking planks. So for this, I'm gonna get set up, hands underneath the shoulders. I'm gonna widen out my feet a little bit Go down to the right elbow, left elbow, right hand, left hand. Then I'm gonna switch left elbow, right elbow, left hand, right hand. And I'll just continue alternating that pattern so that I'm always uh, going with the opposite arm down to the ground and then coming back up. After our walking planks, we're gonna go weighted PVC power snatch. So for this, we're gonna go back to those arms wide. You can bring the knee up to 90 degrees, make sure that that PVC hits right in that hip crease. Ideally, we're gonna hook grip from here, I'm gonna have my shoulders down and back. I'm gonna push my knees out, push the butt back, come down just below the knees, keep the bar close, pop my hips, and then lock out overhead. To come back down, it's just the reverse. So I'm going to bend the bar down into my hips, come back down the legs, just below the knees. If you're at home, what I want you to do is either with your dumbbell or kettlebell, practice your power snatch. Now you're just gonna stay on one arm for this first minute. So the weight's gonna be in between the feet, both heads are touching the ground. I'm going to zip my coat and then lock out overhead. I'll come back down, tap the ground, notice the butt's back, knees are bent, zip the coat and then lock out overhead. I wanna make sure that I keep the weight close to my body. I don't wanna swing it way out in front of me. Next, we're gonna go empty barbell power snatches, and then for those with either dumbbells or kettlebells, you're gonna go opposite arm power snatch. Then we're gonna go into our weighted PVC power clean and jerks. So for this, my hands are gonna be closer. They're gonna be about a thumb width distance from my hips. Still gonna be hook gripping. Still going to have good posture, push the knees out, butt back, starting below the knees. From here, I'm gonna jump and catch and then I'm gonna press out overhead. So if I press out, my ears are covered by my biceps, everything's locked out. I'll come back down to the shoulders, catch in my hips to reset those hips, and then jump and lock out overhead. If you're at home, I want you to use your dumbbell. So for this, you can uh, either have the dumbbell between the feet or on the outside, whichever you prefer. You're gonna start with one arm, you're going to clean up to the shoulder and then lock out overhead. As you come back down, only one head has to touch the ground here. I'm still zipping that coat and then locking out elbows, hips, knees, nice straight line. Next minute, we're gonna go empty barbell, uh, power clean and jerks, or if you're at home, you're gonna switch to the other arm. And then lastly, we're gonna do a coach sled inchworm. So for this, I'm gonna start with my feet right underneath me, keeping my legs straight. I'm gonna walk out into my plank position, lower down to the ground, release the feet, look up, twist over one shoulder and the other, bring the right foot to the right hand, twist over the bent knee, I'll then switch sides. And then lastly, I'll walk my feet to my hands, and then my counter stretch to finish. I'll take about three minutes to warm up to my working weight for the snatch and clean and jerk. Uh, I want the same weight for both movements. So if one's a little bit harder for you than the other, make sure you scale to whatever the harder weight is and use that weight for both movements. For the workout, we're gonna do six minute AMRAPs, four of them. So you have a six minute AMRAP and then two minutes of rest. The first one, we're gonna go eight walking planks. If you need to scale, you can scale the reps to six or you can perform on your knees. 
After that, we're gonna go 10 power snatches. 95 is the RX for the guys, 63 for the ladies. You can scale the weight so you can go relatively unbroken. Uh, you definitely go unbroken the first few rounds and then maybe at most two sets. Then we're going 12 calories on our cardio machine or you can do burpees or one minute of jump rope. You'll have two minutes of rest, six minute AMRAP, eight walking planks to start again. This time we're gonna go 10 of those power clean and jerks. Remember, same weight, completed a one to two sets, and then 12 calories. And then we're just gonna repeat that same thing. Rest two minutes, six minute AMRAP, eight walking planks. On the 10 power snatches, uh, if you don't have access to a barbell, you're gonna do 10 alternating, either dumbbell or kettlebell power snatches, 45 pounds for the guys, 30 for the ladies, and then rest two minutes. Lastly, six minute AMRAP, eight walking planks, 10 uh, power clean and jerks, or if you're at home, 10 alternating dumbbell or power clean, dumbbell or kettlebell power clean and jerks. Again, same weight, 40, 30, 45, 30, and then 12 calories. Uh, for the calories, if you don't have a machine at home, what I want you to do, again, is either 12 burpees or one minute of jump rope. In terms of the scaling for the walking plank, you can either reduce the reps or perform from your knees. So what that's going to look like is I'm still gonna set up in my plank position here, and then I'm just gonna drop the knees, go down to the elbows, come back up, switch sides. Okay, and you'll just do eight of those, but from the knees. Uh, like I said, these barbell movements should be cycled uh, two sets at most. Hopefully in the beginning, you should really go unbroken to get through those. Um, RX Plus, I've got 115.73. Same rules apply though. It should be relatively unbroken. At most, you're gonna go two sets to break it up when, once we get tired, okay? So in terms of our scoring, you're just gonna score each AMRAP separately. So however many rounds and reps you got in the six minute AMRAP, that's what you'll put in the comments or in Zen Planner, and then any modifications that you made to the movements. I uh, hope you have fun with this, guys. Uh, good luck, move well.